Hey learners, welcome to Ahmad Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we will study about starch and cellulose. The starch is made up of alpha glucose subunits while cellulose is made up of beta glucose subunits. When we talk about alpha and beta, we can see here that this is one glucose molecule. In case of beta, the OH molecule is present above the frame here while in case of alpha it is present here so this is the difference between starch and cellulose that in case of cellulose beta glucose is present while in case of starch alpha glucose is present here you can see this part here this has oh while in case of cellulose here the upper plane contains oh the starch and cellulose they both are present in the plants so if you wanted to obtain these two compounds you can take it from the plants the different forms of starch is amylose and amylopectin here you can see this is amylose while this is amylopectin while in case of cellulose hemicellulose and lignin are different forms which are present in cellulose if you talk about the bonding of the glucose molecules in case of starch alpha 1 for linkage is present in amylose here you can see this is one glucose molecule and this is one carbon this is second carbon this is third carbon and this is fourth carbon so the bonding in the amylose is going to be between one carbon and the fourth carbon of the other glucose molecule here you can see this is fourth carbon so we will have one four linkage in the amylose while in case of amylopectin we will also have one six linkage and one four linkage the one four linkage is the same as you can see here the one carbon and fourth carbon while the other linkage is one and six it means that one carbon of another glucose and sixth carbon here this one is sixth carbon of the other glucose so this is one six linkage here okay while in case of cellulose we will only have beta 1 for linkage it means that one carbon and the fourth carbon of other glucose molecule they are going to make the form and this is one for linkage the starch is used to store the excessive glucose while in case of cellulose the cellulose is used for the support and protection as it is present in the cell walls which is going to protect the organelles and the structure of the plant cell the starch it can be dissolved in the warm water while cellulose we cannot dissolve it in the water the starch is more branched shaped structure why it is branched shape because of this one six bonding so because of this linkage we have more branches while in case of cellulose no branching or no branches is present so you can see the cellulose is a straight structure the starch it is easy to break because of the branches you can break it on the branch while in case of cellulose it is difficult to break because there are no branches to break first the starch can be broken down by amylase enzyme while to break the cellulose we need cellulase enzyme if we talk about the test the starch is going to give blue color with the iodine while the cellulose is not going to give any color with the iodine so this is all about starch and cellulose if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i'll see you in the next video